make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. The Lord bless you. His face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn His face toward you and give you peace.
together for the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Amen. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters. I welcome you to Trinity House and all those joining us online on our various social media platforms to this special Sunday Easter service as we celebrate the glorious resurrection of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Shall we pray? Father, in the name of Jesus, everlasting Father, we worship you. We magnify your name. We exalt your highly exalted name. Father, we thank you for blessings that money cannot buy. We thank you for the gifts that man cannot give. Father, we thank you for your love. We thank you for giving your son, Jesus Christ, to die for mankind. Thank you, our Lord Jesus, for paying the death that you, you didn't owe on behalf of mankind. Thank you, precious Holy Spirit, for making it possible for our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, for that resurrection power that raised them from the dead. Father, we thank you. We bless you. Because of that, oh God, Father, we have victory over sin and death. Because of that, Father, we have hope. We have newness of life. We, we have redemption. Thank you, everlasting Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Father, we pray that in today's service, oh God, Father, you will magnify yourself. You will glorify yourself like never before. Father, we pray that all the benefits, all the blessings that comes with the death and the resurrection of your son, Jesus Christ. Father, I pray that let them manifest and reside permanently in the lives of your children in the mighty name of Jesus. For the remaining days of their lives, oh God, Father, I pray that the blessings, that same power that raised Jesus Christ from the dead, Father, I pray, let it work in their lives in the name of Jesus. That from today, oh God, whatever that cannot be found in Jesus, Lord, Father, let it not be found in any one of them in the name of Jesus. And so we declare this service open in the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Trinity in Council, for in Jesus' wonderful name, we are prayed. Amen. amen and amen. Please remain standing for the opening hymn, Crown Him with Many Crowns.
together for the Lord if you know his reason. Hallelujah. If you're excited about the resurrection, put those hands together for the Lord. If you're glad to be alive, let me hear you shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Jam those hands together for the Lord Jesus Christ. Let's appreciate his sacrifice. Let's appreciate the sacrifice. Father, we thank you. Father, we give you praise. That could not hold him. The veil tore before him. He silenced the boast of sin and grace. The heavens are roaring. The praise of his glory. You better join the heavens this morning. For you are raised to life again. He has no rival, he has no equal, now and forever, God, you reign, because your sister kingdom, your sister glory, your sister name, above her name, from the top. That could not hold you. The veil tell before you. You silence the voice of sin and grace. The heavens are roaring. The praise of his glory. Let's join the heavens this morning. For you are raised. Say, that could not hold him. That could not hold the veil 
morning. Thank Jesus for what is done. Father, we thank you. Father, we give you praise. Look at your neighbor. Tell your neighbor, good morning. Welcome to church. Greet somebody standing beside you, standing behind you, right in front of you. Just tell the person, good morning. Welcome to church. Happy Easter celebration. Happy Easter. Just greet someone. Father, we thank you. I will bless the Lord, oh my soul.
of the glory and the honor. Hallelujah. Say it.
friends. Thank you for counting us as your friend. Lord, we give you worship. We give you all the praise. Accept our thanks and praises in Jesus' mighty name. Give the Lord a round of applause for his love. Hallelujah. Stand us be seated in God's presence. church. Uh, happy Easter Sunday. Um, today's Bible verse is taken from jo John chapter 3 verse 16 to 21 and it says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. For God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world but that the world through him may be saved. He who believes in him is not condemned. But he who does not believe in him is condemned already, because he ha he has not does not believe he has not does not believe is condemned already. Oh, sorry. Believe in the name of the only begotten Son of God, and and this is the condemnation that the light has come into the world, and men love the darkness rather than the light, because their deeds were evil. For everyone practicing evil hates the light and does not come to the light lest his deeds should be exposed. But he who does the truth comes into the light, that his deeds may be clearly seen, that they have been done in God. This is the Lord. May the Lord bless you with his word. My love is a miracle, God. 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 He has never failed.
mortals He will do what He says He will do He will do what He promised to do Our Lord is a miracle working God Whatever He says He will do, He will do Whatever He has promised shall surely come to pass because it magnifies word above his name. We shall be standing up this morning uh, for our congregational prayers. And uh, Anchor is activating the promise of God. Please let us stand up. Anytime I have a spiritual exercise, I often inquire of God, what should I do? And this particular song was ministered to me by the Holy Spirit Saturday morning. And is the base upon which we are going to pray. Often at times we wait on the Lord. He has promised us some things. He has said a word to us, either a rema or through his word. And we are wondering when will this happen. But I want to tell us today and assure us that there will be a manifestation of his promises and there will be the fulfillment because it magnifies the word above his name. If you look at the book of Joshua. 21 and verse 43 to 45. Joshua 21 and 43 to 45. So the Lord gave to Israel all the land of which he has sworn to give to their fathers, and they took possession of it and dwelt in it. The Lord gave them rest all around according to all that he has sworn to their fathers, and not a man of all their enemies were able to stand against them. The Lord delivered all their enemies into their hand. Not a word failed of anything which the Lord has spoken to the house of Israel. All came to pass. What that is telling us is that whatever the Lord God has told us will surely come to pass. We shall be praying this morning. I don't know what God has promised you. I don't know the word that they have spoken to you. We are the one that will be praying to activate those promises. Because he has promised that he will magnify his word above his name. That none of the words they have spoken to us, they will never return to me void. But they shall fulfill the purpose of it they are sent and accomplish that you desire. That his promises, they are here and amen. And it's not a man, he cannot lie. And it's not a son of man that he can repent of his words. So what is that that God has promised you? My brethren, my brothers, my sisters, please let us confess our faith, our hope in his word. We are going to be the one to pray for ourselves. If it's about your health, we we'll pray that it's by his stripes that you are healed. That is the Lord God that he let us. You pray to him that he has the power to heal us because it's our Jehovah Rapha. Let us pray concerning the promises God has made to us. If it's about our wealth, he has promised us that he's going to give us the power to make wealth. He has promised that our land shall yield our increase. That he will bless our coming in and he will bless our going out. He promised that we will be rain of abundance and showers of blessing. Let us pray according to his word, according to his promises to us. If it's about our safety, if we are scared, he has told us and he has promised that even when we walk through the valley of the shadow of death that it will be with us that his rod and his staff will comfort us he has promised us even when we are fearful that he has not given us the spirit of fear but that of power love and sound mind what is that thing i want us to pray his congregational prayers let us join our faith together and claim for the manifestation of the promises that god has made to us let us pray even if for our children he has told us they will be like arrows in our hands. That when they are with us, the enemy shall not prevail against us, even at the gates. Let us pray, O oh Lord, even for our walk of faith with God. Because he said that is the reward of those that diligently seek him. Anytime we seek our Lord, he will answer us. Let us pray for everything that the Lord has promised us. If it's our future, he has told us that our future, our expectations shall not be cut short. What is that promise of God for your life? 
claim that promise. Pray for the manifestation. Hold on fast to the confession of your hope without wavering. He has promised, and who he has promised is faithful, and he shall bring those things to pass. Let us pray, even for our country, Nigeria. This is our Jerusalem. Let there be peace. Let there be tranquility. Let there be security. Let there be abundance. Let there be a turnaround. Let us pray for every circumstance, every situation, every word of God that the Lord God has also spoken into our lives. Let us pray. Are we sing of the mercies of the Lord forever. Are we sing. singing that song about three months ago I was thinking about all the promises God has made to me about my future and it seems like is it going to happen is it going to be possible and the Holy Spirit sang that song to me I didn't know that song particularly but when I put it on Google it showed me the first few verses of Psalm 89 Psalm 89 The first verse there is the song that we just sang. But I want us to take us to Psalm 89 from verse 24. And the Lord God was talking to David. He said, but my faithfulness and my mercy shall be with you. And when God gives you a rema, even if it's his word, appropriate it to yourself. So, my faithfulness and my mercy shall be with a devil like Emmanuel Shofela. In the name of the Lord, he said, his horn shall be exalted. Also, I will set his hand over the sea and his right hand over the rivers. He shall cry to me, you are my father, my God, and my rock of my salvation. I will make him my firstborn, the highest of the kings of the earth. My mercy I will keep for him forever. And my covenant shall stand firm with him. What God is saying is that, now, why will I appropriate that? I'm a child of God. Jesus Christ is my Lord and my personal Savior. And Jesus Christ is the son of David. So I'm a descendant of David. He said, once I have sworn to my holiness, I will not lie to David. His seed shall endure forever and his throne as the sun before me. But where I'm going is that he said that even if the sons of David, if they transgress against him, that he will correct them with his rod but his loving kindness, his mercy, he shall not deny his covenant. That is, even when we sin against him, he will forgive us. But his covenant, that promise that is made to us, he will abide by it. He will fulfill that promise. And that is where we are going to stand on, on this morning. The promise of God are yea and amen. Whatever he says he's going to do, he will do for us in the name of Jesus. I think we'll just sing these three songs to activate the promise of God because the covenant keeping God and let us believe in our heart in our soul in our spirit that whatever he says he will do covenant keeping God there is no one like you
other one goes the same way. But it's the Yoruba song that I love to sing. And it's reminding God to fulfill his promises, his covenant. According to your words and according to your promises. And our Father and our Lord, let the words of our mouths yes, Lord. and the meditations of our heart be acceptable unto you. O oh Lord, our rock and our redeemer, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. In Foundation and Trinity House cordially request your presence at the Fort Nigeria Leadership Colloquium in honor of Pastor Ito Igodalo, 63rd birthday. Team Mistakes Nigeria Made. Tuesday, 2nd of April 2024 is the date. Time is 11 a.m. Venue is Trinity House, Victoria Island, Lagos, Nigeria. Under the distinguished chairmanship of General Ike Nwachuku, former Minister of Foreign Affairs, Federal Republic of Nigeria. Our keynote speaker, Mr. Atedo Peterson, Chairman, Anna Business Jets Limited. Discussants, Dr. Ruben Abati, Arise TV, and Professor Mrs. Bukola Oyawoye, former Commissioner of Environment in Oshun State. Program Director is Jeremiah Kisele, founder, Triune Foundation. For more inquiries, please call Veronica Uwebu on 0803-216-5853 or Stella Olurakiyo on 0803-329. 7859 or visit www.triunefoundation.com. Triune Foundation impacting your world.
Master. Would you be like this if you were to be around? I won't. Oh my God. Where do I go from here? Eh? Where do I go from oh. here? Oh. Jesus. Master, just go. Oh, All of this will not be happening. How am I must so much like. to take in. Oh, if my heart is extremely broken. Hey! Hey! Everyone! Everyone! Who is alive? What are you Who's saying? Alive? Who is alive? Everyone. Hey. <laughs> Everyone. Why is she dancing? Now? Listen to us. He has risen. He is no longer in the tomb. He has risen. Okay, Ooh. wait, wait, wait. We went to the tomb. Okay. As the sun began to rise. Yeah. Uh -huh. We checked. And we saw he's no longer in the tomb. Yeah. Are you joking? The sun has been rolled away. Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> the there was an angel. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Clothed in dazzling white. Uh -huh. And that where his body had lain. Uh -huh. <laughs> and the angel told us. Jesus, who was crucified, <laughs> do not be afraid, for he is not here. He has risen. Yeah. Uh, wait, 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 wait. You mean Jesus has risen? Yes. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. See, don't talk with me. Are you sure? I am very sure. Hey, if truly he has risen, where is this Jesus? Where is our master? I think. Well, we we don't know. Uh -uh. Who no, has reason? You uh, don't know. Uh, how can you not know? How can, how, I how can you not know? Uh, we spoke to him. Uh -huh. We saw him. Uh -huh. He told us to tell you. Mr. Galilee. Galilee. Yes. Yes. Galilee. Galilee. Yes. yes. This doesn't make any sense. Doesn't make any sense. This is true. We swear by him. Yes. I find this very hard to believe. I find it very hard to believe. Are you guys? Who, are you sure you're not mistaken? Uh -uh. Are you sure? Yeah, no. He's alive! Uh -uh. Yes. How yes. can you say that oh, now? Oh, oh, oh. Why are you be cruel to us? I don't understand. What sort of cruelty is this? I, I said he has risen. I thought you were better than this, man. Oh, wait, wait, wait. wait. He has risen, no. eh? Yes. yes. Let us go. Yes. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I thought you had to believe. Let's go. 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 Let's what, what, what do you mean? Am I sure he died? What, what are we here? I saw him with my two eyes. I can't believe what I heard, to be honest. I saw him. Uh, Ask the soldiers to, to check two times. Yes, sir. You know, we need to see this for ourselves. No, 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 no. I can't no. believe what I'm hearing. Um, you guys, stay here. Where am I? Pharisees. Yes. Uh, we were here yes. guiding the two so uh -huh. as instructed. An angel. Are you sure? What did the angel say? Uh, uh, he, he said he said it this way. Do not be afraid. For I know you seek Jesus who was crucified. He is not here. He is risen, as he said. Risen? Yeah. Risen? Yes, risen. Chief Priest. This, this cannot be. R risen? Yes, yes, Chief Priest. This news must not spread, Chief Priest. Because if it does, there will be problem or there will be chaos. Yes, sir. Chief Priest, what do we do? We need to do something. We need to act fast. Ah, risen. No. Come, come here. Nobody must.
must know what happened here today. Do you understand me? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, you should, please. You know, just tell them, uh, you know, you were asleep, mm -hmm. you know, and then the disciples came to carry the body away. Yes, that's yes, yes. That, that's what happened. And you must make sure everybody believes that. Uh, but what if we are questioned? What if what? Oh, come, come, come. Nobody must hear what happened here today. Do you understand me? Understood, oh, Chief Priest. Yes. See, there will be more from where that came from. Exactly. Just make sure that you keep the secrets, that nobody knows that Jesus Christ resurrected or something like that. At yeah? all. At we'll all. do as you say. Okay. In fact, remember, nobody must hear. <laughs> now, in fact, anybody you hear preaching about uh, 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 risen from the dead or just kill, kill them and, and give their bodies to the animals uh, and the birds to feed. Yes. You understand? Understood, Chief yes. Priest. That is it. Okay. That is it. You can go. Thank you. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I think that's the best way to go about this because. Let's go. Mm. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. An angel, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let us go. Let's go and see for ourselves. I want to show her that I am not a mad person. So I know Let's what go. I am saying. What can she say here? With my naked eyes. Yes. I will not. Let us go. I, I, I am glad you are beside me because, because I will give you. Let us go. Can you imagine? Tell me what I see. Where? Peace be with you, my friend. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Hey. 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 Ah. Jesus. Is, is that you, Jesus? Master. Jesus. Is that Master. Yes. Is that true? Lord! Lord! Is it, is it really you, Master? You are alive? Yes. Death could not hold me. I have a reason. Just as I said I would. have seen and believed yes but blessed are those who have not seen but yet believed hmm. death has been defeated yes yes yes. Indeed. <laughs> yes my friends go into the world and announce the good news and lo I will be with you Always, yes. even until the end of the ages. <laughs> That's my Jesus. That's my Jesus. Yes. I'm going to be ah. ah. Jesus is alive. Hey. Jesus is alive.
Amen. He's alive. 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 Accept our thanks this resurrection morning and live forever in our hearts. Blessed be your name forevermore. In Jesus' mighty name, we have given thanks. Let me hear resurrection, amen. Let me hear an amen that proves that Jesus is alive. Then let's shout a victorious hallelujah. seven people and say he's alive I saw him with my own two eyes tell them he's alive I saw him with my own two eyes he's alive and I felt him in my heart thank you precious father amen this morning we're speaking on the subject the miracle of God. Happy Easter. And may the God of Easter continue to bless us all in Jesus' name. The miracle of God. The Webster's Dictionary describes a miracle as an extraordinary event. An extraordinary event manifesting divine inter intervention in human affairs. It also calls it an extremely outstanding or unusual event, a divinely natural phenomenon experienced humanly as the fulfillment of spiritual law. A remarkable event or development that brings welcome in every consequences. I call it a miracle is God doing something extraordinary for the benefit of man. Jesus is a miracle from God. Jesus is a miracle from God. Something unusual that God would otherwise not have done. Something unusual that God would otherwise not have done. And that's why a lot of people still find it difficult to believe in the miracle of Jesus Christ. The Bible says 
that the Jews are still looking for a sign. If you go to Israel now, and if they interrupt the bombing of Gaza for a few minutes and you ask them a question, where is the Messiah? They'll point to heaven and say, we're still looking for the sign of the Messiah. The Gentiles still wanted to be proven. They're seeking wisdom. Is this thing true, practical, realistic, and capable? And that is why I asked the workers this morning at our workers meeting, do they believe? Do they believe in this thing or in this phenomenon called Jesus Christ? Do they believe that Jesus rose from the dead? And I asked them to give me proof. A miracle is God doing something for the benefit of man. John chapter 1 verse 14. John chapter 1 verse 14 says, The word was made flesh and dwelt amongst us. God fulfilled his word. And through that miracle, this miracle of Jesus Christ, God did a few things that has helped you and I. Number one, he dwelt amongst us. Why would God do the miracle of Jesus Christ? He did the miracle to dwell among us. There you see God dwelling among us. Picking up Peter from the storm. Touching the children and feeling them and moving among them and showing that God can indeed move among men. The word was made flesh and dwelt amongst us. In the beginning was the word. The word was with God and the word was God. The same in the beginning with God and that word was made flesh. It is possible for the word to become flesh because everything was made by the word. Genesis chapter 1 says, God said, by the power of his word, he made everything and that word became flesh. May God make something new in your life this day in the name of Jesus Christ. The miracle of Jesus tells us that Jesus went through what we went through. Every single thing that man can experience, God also experienced it. You know, God started having an argument amongst himself. Perhaps this thing called life that I've given to men to experience is too difficult for them. So let me come down as a man and begin to experience those things. What did he experience? He was tempted of the devil. Matthew chapter 4 verse 1 to 4. said that Jesus Christ was led up of the spirit in the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. So if anyone comes today and says that it was the devil that tempted me, God will say, sure. I myself, I have been tempted of this same devil. If anyone is coming to God today and says, I'm so sad, I'm so bitter, I'm so angry, I'm so sorrowful, I am crying. God will say, I myself wept. John chapter 11 verse 35. And Jesus wept. So I know what it means to be in sorrow, to lose a loved one, and to cry. He was denied. So if anyone comes today and says, my mother, my father denied me, my wife denied me, my brother, my sister, my friends denied me, Jesus will say in Matthew chapter 26, verse 75, Peter denied me. Remember I told him that before the cock would crow three times, or before the cock would crow, you would deny me three times. 
if anyone is saying, especially among our politicians, that they betrayed me, that they let me down, that I've been betrayed, Jesus will say in Luke chapter 22, verse 48, Judas, betrayest thou the Son of Man with a kiss? If anyone will say, I was abandoned, I was left off for dead, my father abandoned me, my wife abandoned me, my friends abandoned me, Jesus will say in Matthew chapter 26, verse 56, all this was done that the scriptures of the prophets might be fulfilled. Then all the disciples forsook him and fled. I have experienced everything that you have experienced. All I know is that there is always a way out of every temptation. God will make a way out of every situation. For somebody here this resurrection morning, there is a way out. The miracle of Jesus was that Jesus came to this earth to teach us many things. John the Baptist, when he was introduced, Jesus says, This is the Lamb of God that taketh away the sins of the world. And I am a voice of one crying in the wilderness, saying that this Jesus is going to teach us the straight way of the Lord. So in Matthew chapter 5 verse 17, or the entirety of Matthew chapter 5, chapter 6, chapter 7, we see the teachings of Jesus, otherwise referred to as the Sermon of the Mount. He said in Matthew chapter 5 verse 17, Think not that I have come to destroy the law or what the prophet said, but I have not come to destroy but to fulfill. So you see Jesus on the mount teaching all that he could teach. In Matthew chapter 5 verse 38 to 45, he says, You have heard them say an eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth. But I say unto you, don't do anything evil. Whoever shall smite you on your right cheek, turn the other cheek to him also. Whoever shall sue you by the law and take away your coat, let him have your cloak also. You have heard it said that you will love your neighbor, hate your enemy. But I say unto you, love your enemies and bless them that curse you. A lot of us as human beings will find this extremely difficult. Most of us want to have our own back. If somebody does something to you, you must wait and make sure you have your own back and deal with that person. But what Jesus says is love your enemies. Bless them that curse you. Do good to them that hate you. Pray for them that despitefully use you and persecute you so that you may prove that you are the child of your father in heaven who makes the sun to rise on the evil and on the good. Jesus changed our thinking of leadership. Says the people of the world, they lord it over their own people. Move around as bishops, reverends, popes, cardinals, even in the church. Bishops move around as governors, as presidents. They lord it over their people. Presidents, they do the same all over the place. But Jesus says, whoever is going to be your leader, let him be your minister. And the word minister means servant. So whenever a minister of the Federal Republic comes to you and says, I am your boss, tell him, no, the Bible says you are my servant. The word minister means servant, minister unto people. But our leadership do not quite understand that. Who shall be senior amongst you? Let him be your minister. A few years ago, friend of mine came here 
with his young son. The son must have been about eight or nine years old, maybe ten. And then I was walking at the back there. Service had just ended. And he walked straight up to me and started chatting with me and so on and so forth. And I was chatting with him. And then he turned around to his son and said, that's the pastor of the church. That's the pastor of the church. So the boy comes up to me and looks at me and says, are you sure you're the pastor? <laughs> I say, I'm the pastor. So he turned to his father. He said, I can't be the pastor. The father said, why? See, where are his bodyguards? Where are his guards? Where are the guards? And I said, ah, can't you see them? He said, no, I can't see them. I said, well, that's Gabriel. That's Michael. <laughs> because even in church, we pastors lord it over our people. Sirens everywhere. A guy came to see me here the other day. And uh, Olu said, that's the pastor. Talk to him or somebody. The woman looked at me and said, eh, are you sure? <laughs> say, I, I say, ah, say, that's the pastor. That's your pastor. Say, that's your pastor. Say, eh, can I talk to him? Say, yeah, you can talk to him. Talk to him. That's it. Talk to him. Say, ah, it's not like that in our church. Oh. Say, no protocol, no filling of form, no queue, no appointments. Say, no, that's it. Talk to him. Say, ah, okay, pastor, this is my problem. <laughs> Whoever is going to be your minister, your leader, let him be your minister. You know, Jesus was so simple. He moved among his people. People couldn't recognize him. They didn't know whether it was him or not. That's why Judas had to come and tell them, is the man that I kiss, that is the one. Because he looked just like his people. No protocol, no nothing. So Jesus says, love your enemy, look after the poor. I have come to perfect the law. Jesus came and performed many miracles. That is part of the miracle of God, bringing Jesus to this earth to perform many miracles. John chapter 20 verse 30 says that many signs that Jesus did in the presence of his disciples, there are many which are not written in this book. It says, if we were to write everything that Jesus did, the books will not be enough to contain them. The Bible says that he healed them, everyone that came to Jesus with a problem, he solved that problem. Coming to prove that God can do all things. God can do all things. And then he said in John chapter 14 verse 12, John chapter 14 verse 12, Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me, the works that I do, he shall do also, and greater works than these shall he also do. Number five, Jesus Christ bore our pain and experienced our sorrows. That's the fifth miracle of God through Jesus Christ. Isaiah chapter 55, 53, I beg your pardon, verse 4 to 5 says, He had borne our griefs, he has carried our sorrows, yet we did esteem him stricken, smitten of God and afflicted. He was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with his stripes, we are healed. He bore our pain. The pain that we were supposed to bear. He was beaten for our sakes. So that he could carry unto himself all the punishment of this world. He went through everything that we were supposed to go through as a payment for our sins. And because he went through those things, we don't need to go through them if we believe. And through those pain, we are... <laughs> you know, in the Old Testament, whenever...
whenever you committed a sin or a crime, and the Bible says that the wages of sin is death, and somebody or something needed to die, you will bring a goat or a cow or a lamb or a pigeon, depending on the size of your pocket. And you bring that pigeon, and sometimes you bring two of them. And then you will lay your hands upon the sacrifice, the pigeon or the goat or the ram or the cow. You transfer your sins to that animal or to that beast. And then the beast will be slaughtered and the blood spilled. So all your sin, all your problems, all your pain, all your anxiety, you transfer to that animal. And that's exactly what happened in Cal Calvary 2,024 years ago. Sometimes you'd have two of them. You transfer to one, you transfer to the other, then they let the other go into the wilderness and kill the other. And they say that is the escape goat. And that's where you got the saying, scapegoat, that became the escape goat that ran away with all your sins and all your problems. I think there's somebody here today, your sins are forgiven. Amen. That person didn't say a good amen. amen. Your problems are over. Amen. Your sins are forgiven. Amen. The Lord will have mercy. Amen. Your sins are forgiven. Amen. Your crisis is canceled. Amen. Can I hear an amen? Amen. All that pain that Jesus went through was so that we could transfer to him all our pain and all our problems. But the key is, do you believe? Do you believe that God will come down, become man, and carry man's pain? Number six, he died our death. He died our death. Everyone is destined to die. The soul that sinneth, that soul shall die. And all have sinned. So we all owe God the payment of death. But in Matthew chapter 27 verse 46, we're looking at Easter from the eyes of Matthew. Matthew tells us that about the ninth hour, Jesus cried with a loud voice, Say, Eli, Eli, lama sabbatani, which is to say, My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? And some who stood didn't understand what he was saying. And they said, This man is calling for Elias. And they ran, took a sponge, filled it with vinegar, put it on the reed, gave it to him to drink. And then they said, let us see whether Elias or Elijah will come and save him. And when Jesus had cried again with a loud voice, he yielded up the ghost. And the veil of the temple was torn into two from top to bottom. And the earth quaked. And the rocks broke, and the graves were opened, and many bodies of the saints which slept arose, came out of the graves after his resurrection, and went to Jerusalem, and started appearing to their family members. And when the centurion that were with him, watching Jesus, saw the earthquake, and those things that were done, they became very afraid and then they said truly this was the son of God the evidence was incontrovertible the proof was infallible the signs were undeniable and they looked around and they said these things are not ordinary this man was the 
Son of God. He proved his love for us. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. The miracle of Jesus is that God proved his love for us. And I believe. I think somebody needs to give God a round of applause. I think somebody needs to give God, my God, a round of applause. I think somebody needs to give my God a round of applause. I think somebody needs to give my God a round of applause. I think somebody needs to give my God, our God, a round of applause. I think somebody needs to give God, God, who proved his love for us, who died our death, who bore our sins, who held our sorrows, who took our chastisement, who took our pain, who took our death. I think somebody needs to give my God this Easter morning a round of applause. I think somebody needs to thank my God and appreciate him and give him all the glory and thank him and bless his name and give him a round of applause. Only God can do this. Man cannot do it. Only God can do it. Beasts cannot do it. Only God can do it. Soothsayers cannot do it. Only God can do this. Pastors cannot do it. I think somebody needs to give my God a round of applause this morning and scream unto God and tell him my soul thus magnify the Lord and my spirit praise his name for Even in the grave, Jesus is Lord, for death could not hold him captive. Even in the grave, Jesus is Lord. My soul doth magnify the Lord, and my spirit, and my spirit praise His name. For death could not hold Him captive, even in the grave. Jesus is Lord, for death could not hold him captive, even in the grave, Jesus is Lord, for Lord, oh, for death could not hold him captive, even in the grave. My Jesus. Jesus is Lord. Come on, let's give the Lord one more time another round of applause. And bless his name and glorify him. My Jesus, please be seated. 
You know, quite frankly, if all God had done through this miracle was to come down, experience the life of man, teach us all these wonderful things to make our life better, finally carry on our sins, and then die on the cross of Calvary, and then God would have been satisfied because the blood had been shed. And a lot of the animals that were killed, they died. And God was satisfied. The blood was shed. God was happy. God was fulfilled. Somebody had died. Sin had been forgiven. The blood had been shed. Somebody had died. God was satisfied. The blood had been shed. Somebody had died. The sin had been carried away. God was satisfied. The death had ended it all. You know, a friend of mine, his mother died. And um, they were burying the mother. So he stood by, was looking as they lay her in state. And then another lady came, stood by the coffin, and was weeping profusely. Weeping profusely. I say this story a lot at funerals. Because Friday was a funeral. But Sunday has come. So at that funeral, this lady was weeping, weeping, weeping. And I stood by my friend. His name is Robert. I said, Rob, you know, go cry. <laughs> he didn't cry. I said, Rob, cry now. <laughs> Which one you did? See that woman, they cry past you. You, where you get mama, you know, cry. They go, sit there and you kill your mama. He said, and leave that woman. I said, ah, why now? He said, man of God, just leave her, leave her alone. Let her be crying. I said, Robert, you must cry. Yo. You must cry. Make it say, now you kill your mama. He said, no, no, why? leave her alone. Let her be crying. So I looked at the woman. I looked at Robert. I said, Robert, cry. I said, don't mind her. I said, who is she? He said, look at her face now. I looked at her face, true, true. I said, who is she? I said, that's my mother's sister. I says, they have not spoken for 10 years. That's my mother's sister. They've not spoken for 10 years. I says, they quarreled over something insignificant. And for 10 years, she has not been to this house. Now she's crying. Death ends it all. Death ends it all. So if God had died and spilled his blood, everything would have been over. But God didn't end it there. He rose from the dead. I think it's a good place to clap <laughs> for my God. It didn't end it there. 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 He rose from the dead. And by rising from the dead, he led captivity captive and finally destroyed death. Everything bothering your life this morning is finally destroyed in the name of Jesus. Limiting your progress this morning is finally cancelled in Jesus' name. Everything saying you will not succeed. I say you will succeed and you will excel in the name of Jesus. Everything standing in your way because my Jesus rose from the dead. You will arise again in the name of Jesus. I can hear your amen, church. He didn't stop there. He rose from the dead. God will never stop where people think he will stop. God will do extra for somebody here this morning. God will take you somewhere extra in the name of Jesus. God will turn things around in your life in the name of Jesus. God will go out of his way to magnify himself in your life in Jesus' name. I say he didn't stop there. He did what no one had ever done before. 
and what no one can ever do again. He raised himself from the dead. To silence once and for all all the naysayers. To silence once and for all poverty. To silence once and for all sickness. To silence once and for all death. So the last enemy to be conquered is death. Some people find it difficult to believe. But I find it very, very simple to absorb that only God would have done only what God can do. <clears throat> only God could have done only what God can do. I know the irony, you know, the irony about God is that when he's going to do something, he shows people. He shows people. So that by the time he has done it, nobody will say he didn't do it. So when I was thinking, 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 meditating about this scripture, thinking, 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 that what is the proof? What is the proof? What is the proof? What is the proof that Jesus died and rose again? Say, but each one you've been preaching, preaching about Lazarus, been preaching about Lazarus. Finally, you found out and discovered that that miracle of Lazarus happened only about two or three weeks before the Passion Week. I discovered it in John. The Bible says that Jesus Christ was told that Lazarus was sick. They said he should come. He says he's not going near Jerusalem. They want to kill him there. They want to kill him there. He's not going. They say he's sick. He says, have you wait? Waited four days. The guy died, was buried inside a tomb. The stone was rolled across the tomb and he was inside the tomb, dead and rotten. Then Jesus got up and he went to that same city called Bethany where Lazarus lived. And he got to the side of the tomb and he wept. And they said, see how he loved him. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth on him shall not perish but have eternal life. That's why Jesus wept as a sign of love to prove John chapter 3 verse 16. You know when we were doing Bible study this morning John chapter 3 verse 16 we said Zenon read John chapter 3 verse 16 to 21. Zenon said I don't even need to open my Bible to read it. I can read it. And he said, perfectly, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish but have eternal life. John chapter 3, verse 16. He read it off the top of his head. I said, okay, verse 17. Ah, he said, that, that one is enough. <laughs> he wept as a sign of love to prove John chapter 3 verse 16. Then he looked at the grave and looked at the stone and he turned to them. He says, roll away the stone. Roll away the stone. Roll away the stone. And some three hefty men, including Nia Kenzwa, <laughs> rolled away the stone. Then he stood trembling. And then he says, Lazarus! forth and the power of resurrection went into the grave joined bone with bone flesh with flesh sino with sino brain with brain leg with leg body with body stomach with stomach hair with hair nails with nails toes with toes eyes with eyes and Lazarus came forth by the power of the resurrection. God was saying, if I can do it for Lazarus, I can do it for me. My soul. 
Doth magnify the Lord And my spirit praise His name For people's evil of no effect. Prove that God is always many steps ahead of men. Proved that there is hope and death is conquerable. Proved that he is God and tells me that because he lives, I, Itwa, Olajide, Akindele, Ekekwa, Igodalo, will live forevermore. Because he lives, I can face tomorrow. Oh, this morning. God and his son. The Bible says, if thou wouldest believe, thou wouldest see the glory of God. I want to assure some lady here this morning that because he leaves, your sickness is gone. Because it says this sickness is not unto death, but so that God's name will be glorified. I want to tell some gentleman here today that because he leaves, there's an answer to your prayer. There's a blessing over your marriage. There's a blessing over your business. There's a blessing over your home. That stubborn child will come back home because he leaves. I want to tell a lady here 
that there shall be no more mental illness in your family, no more addiction in your home, no more desire of the enemy to destroy your family, and that your sins are forgiven, and God will give you joy forevermore. I want to tell somebody here this morning that the Lord is going to stand for you, stand against the devil, stand in your favor, stand around you, be you, be there for you, and make you a blessing. That person is not saying amen. I want to tell somebody here today that because he is, you have no fear. You have no sadness. You have no sickness. You have no sadness. You have no anxiety. If only you believe. If only you believe. If only you believe. I want to tell somebody here today that you didn't come here by accident. That the Lord led you here himself to break a yoke in your life. The yoke is broken. 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 In the name of Jesus. All heads bowed, all eyes closed. That's a problem being solved for a gentleman today. As you go forward to that place of meeting, that place of assignment, the heavens will open over you and a promotion will come your way. Because it is. All heads bowed, all eyes closed. I don't know what you are going through this morning, but I believe in God. I believe in God. I believe so strongly in God. I believe He died and rose again. I believe that with God, nothing shall be impossible. I believe that God can do all things through this same Christ that strengthens me. So talk to God this morning. Talk to God this morning. Talk to God this morning. And if you are here today, you want to share my belief in this God. You want to give your life to Jesus Christ either for the first time. You want to dedicate that life to God. And you want God to stand in your life and stand for you. And you're saying, Pastor, I need prayer this morning. I need prayer this morning. I need prayer this morning to strengthen my faith. I need prayer this morning to encourage me. There's about 20 people this morning. You need encouragement. I need this prayer. I need prayer this morning to encourage me, to put me up, to put me up, to put me up, to lift me up, to give me courage. I need prayer this morning. I want to give my life to Jesus. I want to dedicate my life to this God. I want God to step into my life. Pastor, let us pray together. We are asking for prayer this morning. You want to give your life to Jesus. You want God to lift you up out of where you are. Please put your right hand on your heart, wherever you may be, so that I can see those who are asking for prayer this morning. Put your right hand on your heart and leave it there for a few minutes. If you are putting your right hand on your heart and you are asking for prayer, please do one more thing for me and please stand up on your feet. Please stand up on your feet. Please stand up on your feet, stand up on your feet, stand up on your feet and remain standing. Please stand up on your feet, stand up on your feet and remain standing. If you are asking for prayer this morning, put in your hand on your heart or you just want me to pray with you because you want to commit to Jesus. We are standing on your feet, please come out to the front, come out to the front very quickly.
offering, give him a nice, wonderful offering, give him something that you consider a little bit unusual. If you want to do your transfers, you can transfer from the POS or from your phone. Just let us have the evidence if you can. Those who are watching online, YouTube, Instagram, on screen, we thank you very much and we are grateful to God for your lives. We do hope you've been blessed. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let's lift up our offerings to God and ask the Lord to pour his blessings over this offering and make this offering of a special kind. Thank you, precious Father. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Shall we rise and give God offering this morning?
everybody look at me and tell me what you see. Cause goodness and mercy are following me. Yeah. He is done, he is done. Turn my boy into dancing. He gave me, he gave me a song. So I can sing.
given us the ability to give back from that which you gave to us. Please accept our thanks in the name of Jesus. Blessed be your name forevermore. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Today we are celebrating the 60th birthday of Archbishop Reverend Dr. Ekpeyong Duke. He turned 60 yesterday. And also, this is Omolara Ogunwo Oshoba. Please dance out and let the people thank God on your behalf. Amen. Bishop Reverend Duke, 60 and 70th birthdays, Mrs. Omalara Ogunwo Oshoba, please come forward very quickly, let us thank God for your lives, and after that we'll do the general birthdays and wedding anniversaries, maybe, is there a cake to cut? You've been calling her, okay, let's see if they come. So, those who are here with Reverend Dr. Pastor Duke and Mrs. Oshoba, please dance forward. Let me pray for you. Thank you. Choir. Hey.
small girl is 70. 70 sure looks good on you. Ah, ah, oh girl. Ah, Chiquito. <laughs> it's my sister that called you that one. Or <laughs> ah, now wow. They say they do. Nom dong 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 gang gong gang. Nom gong bong shang gong dong gong gong gong. Ekoyana wasi. Ekoyana, Ekoyana. Who born here? They come here, Abasi. Abasi, they conk you. Hey, Pastor Duke, the Lord bless you. The Lord look after you. The Lord look after your wife, your three wonderful children, guide and protect you, continue to show you love, continue to show you strength, continue to be there for you, make you a blessing. Your ministry will not fail. Your home will not fail. Your finances will not fail. Your anointing will not run dry. And God will show you great and mighty things. The resurrection of Christ will show you power. And God will give you lightness. Ebok, it is well with you. Our Abasi will look after you. God will give you strength and joy. And all will be well with you. And your wonderful husband. Mrs. Oshoba, it is well with you. Uluwa Adruti, you. God will continue to bless you. Your children will continue to give you joy. Your sins are forgiven. Your mistakes are cancelled. It's a new day for you. It's a new beginning for you. God will bless your home. God will surround you with favor. Everything you ask of God, God will give to you. God will enlarge your coast and it shall be well with you. I bless you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. God will give you very good health and very long life in the name of Jesus Christ. God will give you very, very, very good health and very long life too in the name of Jesus. You, your wife, and your household, and it shall be well with you in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. <laughs> eh? You can get up. <laughs> Amen. It is well with you all in Jesus' name. Go and live a great life. Amen.
Typically, we have a cake out here, but the cake has been delayed. Maybe it's resurrection from the grave. But it will arrive because Jesus is alive. So by the time it comes, we will make sure you get your cake. Amen. And if you don't get your cake, God will give you double next month. Amen. May the Lord bless you all. May the Lord celebrate your birthday for you. May the Lord himself wish you a happy birthday, a happy wedding anniversary. He will continue to enlarge your coast, continue to direct your path. Great will be your testimony. You live lives of goodness, lives of fulfillment. None of you will perish. None will die before their time. And if you die, God will give you eternal life. And you resurrect from the dead. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Happy birthday and happy wedding anniversary. Amen. The last assignment I have this morning, or the penultimate assignment I have this morning, is to welcome those who are worshipping here for the first time. So if this is your first time here, can I see you wave your hands to Jesus? This is your first time in Trinity House. Wave your hands to Jesus. This is wonderful. Please rise up on your feet if this is your first time. Please rise up on your feet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we welcome you. Trinity House, we meet on Sundays at 9 o'clock and on Wednesdays at 6 o'clock. Very, very key, very important services. This Wednesday will be here at 6 o'clock. It will be a Holy Communion service, so you are all cordially invited. On Tuesday at 11, we'll be having a colloquium for my birthday. Typically, we have colloquium. Then on Sunday, we probably will go to the prison to look at the people in the prison and to greet them, take them food stuff. Today, we're feeding a few people who cannot feed themselves. So if you have a ticket, ticket for the food stuff, please go to the car park. If you still have any food stuff or any checks you want to write towards that feeding, it's not too late. I'm going to write my check also. Um, please write the check and then hand it over to Minister Debola or Minister Olu Victor, or Minister Mrs. Olu Rakeo. And the Lord will help us in Jesus' name. So if you've been given a ticket, ticket for being uh, given food stuff today, please, after the service, head for the car park. 
be nice to see everyone at 11 o'clock on Tuesday for the colloquium. We're discussing the mistakes that Nigeria made, the mistakes we made so that going forward, hopefully by God's grace, we will not make any more mistakes. Nigeria is a difficult place to govern. Okay, Mama Ikazobo, Ekai Sabo, where is she? Where's Mama Ekai Sabo? Ah, how are you, Ma? I hear you were 90 this week. Oh, wow. You have to come, come, come. I have to pray for you specially and tap that anointing. Ah, uh, Mama Ekai Sabo, 90. Don't stop clapping. Ah, uh, you don't want to be 90? Okai Sabo. Mama Okai Sabo. Please come, come. Uh, I wanted me to miss that blessing. She was 90 this week. A uh, uh, fine girl. Now, wow. This is what it looks like to be 90. <laughs> Amen. Congratulations, man. I won't ask you to kneel. Because me, I know fit killed goats today. <laughs> All the goats have been killed. Eh? It's good to see you, man. You don't look 90, sir. Uh, uh, now, wow. 90. Wonderful. Congratulations. The Lord will bless you. The Lord will lay his hands upon you. The Lord will continue to change the rules for you. The Lord will make an exception for you. The Lord will surround you with his favor. You will be 100. You will be 120. Uh, there's no fear. No those people in Benin will come near you <laughs> in the name of Jesus Christ. You will live long and it shall be well with you. Your children will continue to call you blessed and you'll continue to find favor with God and favor with men. Your grandchildren the same and God will bless you mightily. In Jesus name we have prayed. Can I hear an amen? amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Come on, give mama a round of applause. Round of applause. Congratulations. Congratulations. Items to feed inmates in the Koi prison. I think next Sunday after the birthday, uh, sorry, after the service, we will go to Koi prison, uh, Mama prison. I think we'll try and make it next Sunday, okay? God bless you all. Honestly, thank you very much for coming to church today. I appreciate you all. God will celebrate you also. And those worshiping here for the first time, this will be your last time. This is your church from now on.
God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Please let me put your hands together for the drama group and the choir. They did a wonderful job this season. They've been practicing and practicing and practicing, and they came out with that. Anybody that wants to support them and to encourage them, please see us also. Fantastic group. Fantastic. Fantastic. Fourth Colloquium All Set to Old in Trinity House. Anna's Avin to Old April Prophetic Declaration Prayers. Hello and welcome to Trinity News. I am Tyro Tunkarimo. It's Pastor Ito's 63rd birthday, and to mark this year's celebration, the fourth colloquium has been scheduled to hold on Tuesday, 2nd of April at 11 a.m. here at the Zion Center. Tagged Mistakes Nigeria Made under the distinguished chairmanship of General Ike Wachuku, the keynote speaker is Dr. Atedo Peterside, and discussants are Dr. Ruben Abati and Professor Mrs. Bukola Oyawoye, together with Jeremiah Akishele, the program director. I love my pastor, not before Malto. Please plan to attend and celebrate with our senior pastor. For further inquiries, kindly reach out to Mrs. Ulura Kinyo at the foyer. Dear parents and children, Pastor Itoa is inviting you to Anna's Avin April Prophetic Declaration and Virtual Prayer Meeting for Children. Ministering this month is Mr. Brotimi Ade Farasi, and the Father's blessing will be declared by our Father in the Lord, Pastor Itoa Igodalo. Do you know that the Triwisdom Club for the Elderly is located at Lekki Phase 1? A club for the senior citizens with fun activities. The uh, vision bettered by Pastor Itoai Godalo uh, is to improve the quality right of life of elderly post. Nigerians by maximizing their physical, cognitive, and spiritual well being. Age appropriate sports, entertainment, spiritual upliftment, routine basic health checks, life skills sharing, consultations, and much more. As a follow up, there will be an elders meeting right after the service. Kindly wait behind after the service to attend. We are here to serve the elderly, to provide an environment for them where they can come, rejoice, exercise, eat, play games and do the things that they like to do with their friends and people of their own sort of kind. And this is really to make sure that they are happy, they are well taken care of, and they begin to enjoy, as it were, all the great things of life. The premarital counseling session is a prerequisite for getting married in Trinity House. Therefore, the Marriage Counseling Department is calling all those planning on getting married that the next premarital session has commenced in the month of March. Kindly ensure to register for the upcoming session. Last week Wednesday was our praise night and it was all joy overflowing and spirit lifting. Next week midweek service promises to be great. Do not miss midweek service next time. Be a part of it as you'll be truly blessed. The book and variety store has loads of new items. Stock of communion elements, anointing oil, branded TH items, toddlers and teenage Bibles and books, new leadership and educational lifestyle books. Please stop by for your various purchases at the back of the auditorium. Do you know that we have Tracy House campuses in Lagos and abroad? Please note we have a parish in Ikorodu, Mowe, Ikeja, and London in the United Kingdom. Kindly invite family and friends who are close by our various campuses to worship with Trinity House as they will be richly blessed. Have you just given or rededicated your life to Christ and wish to be baptized? There is a baptismal and discipleship class for you right after the service. Registration is ongoing for physical and online classes. Please visit the foyer for full registration. For all inquiries, please visit the information desk at the foyer. 
Kindly continue to follow and join us virtually on our social media platforms on Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, and Facebook for our services and on-site for our physical services on Wednesdays at 6 p.m. and on Sundays at 9 a.m. Let's take a look at the weather forecast for this week. Our vision of the church is simply unique. Here at Trinity House, we are committed to changing lives, fulfilling destinies, and transforming nations. Once again, I am Taiwo Tunkarimu. Have a blessed week. God will bless you. God will favor you. God will look after you. Thank you for coming to church today. I can't thank you enough. Thank you again and again. First time as on the screen and also on social media platforms all over the world i welcome you into trinity house and into the body of christ may the lord speak to you may you hear may he direct your path may he be well with you may he solve all your problems and turn your trials into testimonies my name is itwa and i really really wish you very well thank you for coming thank you for being part of our story and part of god's blessing and grace upon our lives see you on wednesday at six o'clock and on Sunday at 9 a.m. In between, we pray for the children on the first Saturday of the month at 7 a.m. And then we pray for the elders 9 o'clock on the next or the next Saturday after. Everything is going to be just fine. Praise the name of the Lord. Shall we please rise for the closing hymn, Jesus Christ is risen today.
the world. 